come to the question number 16 mention four consequences of excessive use of fossil fuels okay so what are the consequences just uh, what will happen if we keep on using these fossil fuels so see it will create lot enormous amount of pollution again acid rain will increase then global warming okay then uh, the, the submerged areas will uh, will go inside the water second thing like it will there is a chances of getting over of these resources after 20 to 30 years after that what will happen there will be you know, shortage of uh, these kind of resources and only few particular country may have the, these kind of resources left with. So, the prices will increase okay, and it is going to uh, affect the, the countries which are you know the, they are the, the smaller countries the one who cannot uh, buy uh, these kind of things from the other country at a very high rate. Okay. So, these are the consequences which can be seen if the fossil fuels are used continuously at a very high rate, very high rate means use at a very high rate. Okay. That means, if you keep on using these kind of resources, so it will increase the pollution, it will increase the global warming, it will deplete the ozone layer. Okay. Then in other sense, if you uh, see other than from what are the effects other than the uh, affecting the environment, then it is going to uh, what will happen within few years within 20 to 30 years this fossil fuels will get over and in that case it will become very difficult for the smaller countries to get such kind of fuels from because they will have to purchase it okay, at a very high rate from the countries who are who still uh, you know have because you know different countries have different stock the amount of stock in the earth. Okay. So, one country may have may be very rich with this kind of sources and the other country may not have such kind of resources. So, that is again a point. So, we will start writing the answer. So, uh, it is a question number 16th. It is a question number 16th. Okay. So, answer 16. So, I will just read the question once mention four consequences of excessive use of fossil fuels. We just have to write the four points. What can be the four points? Okay. So, it may increase pollution. So, just have to frame in the sentence. I am just writing in the gist. So, the pollution will increase then what will have been the Global warming will be there, okay. Global warming will be there due to which what will happen? Pole, okay, polar areas will melt. Polar areas means what? Glaciers, the polar ice, okay. Then if we continue the same point, it will again give rise to acid rain. Okay. Then it will again the areas may submerge into the water. Okay, the areas may submerge. Just wait, submerged into the water. Okay. Then if we leave this point of pollution other than like something other than the pollution then what can be the causes what can be the effects rather. So, it will become like what will happen the countries like the one okay, the one which is not which the, the one which do not have now. So, it will become difficult the smaller countries. won't be able to purchase in case of depletion in case of depletion 
okay and within 20 to 30 years what will happen this stock will finish okay within 20 to 30 years what will happen 30 years fossil fuels will deplete okay so what will happen if okay and uh, and what even the diseases it causes many diseases okay it causes many diseases so what are the things what is the question mention four consequences of excessive use of fossil fuels so what will happen see one point the whole point can be there in the pollution it depends upon the marks of the question how it has to be explained you know uh, rather to uh, focus upon the question how it has to be expressed in the exams if we try to understand like what is there so the first point pollution you can explain it wonderfully you yourself you know, should know what is there so pollution will increase global warming which will like I have explained this point many a times due to which what will happen polar areas the ice on the polar areas will melt due to which the sea level will increase okay so due to which what will happen the areas will get uh, submerged I will explain this thing once again only and this point only I will discuss okay then pollution causes acid rain okay areas may submerge into water then small countries would be in case the uh, stock gets over the smaller countries would be able to purchase it from the bigger countries because because it will become costly okay because it will become very very costly because when the stock is limited and the demand is more okay stock will be limited only few countries will be left with this and the demand will be more so obviously the rates will go high the cost will go high and becomes difficult for the smaller countries will it will become difficult for the smaller countries to purchase okay so there is need to shift on the alternative sources of energy okay so come to the next one children now question number 17 what are petrochemicals and why are they so important okay what I will repeat the question what are petrochemicals and why are they so important okay how petrochemicals now question number answer number 17 we have to write about petrochemicals petrochemicals okay now how petrochemicals are formed or what is the meaning of petrochemicals and why is it so important we will discuss 17 petrochemicals what are petrochemicals and why it is so important ok so children petrochemicals are made by the petroleum and natural gas ok it is made it is made by it is made up of what it is made up of petroleum and natural gas ok petroleum and natural gas ok see first of all it is what is petrochemical so the substance which are made by the petroleum ok by the petroleum and natural gas ok so what are the uses why it is so important children we have discussed this thing many a times like many things can be made by the use of petroleum and natural gas again the same thing like see many components it is used it is used to make several products 
okay so what are the products children again the synthetic gas synthetic uh, uh, fuels okay then um, uh, the polish dyes medicine so paints all these things are made by petrochemicals and so obviously petrochemicals are very very important it's of great use okay how petrochemicals are made petrochemicals what are rather petrochemicals so petrochemicals are the substance which is made by the petroleum and natural gas okay now come to the question number 18 18 okay so answer 18 is what is meant by refining of petroleum i'll repeat the question what is meant what is meant by refining of petroleum children uh, i have explained i have discussed the thing that refining and uh, refineries refineries where the refining is done okay then what is the meaning of refining refining means to isolate okay to to separate the components of the crude oil okay so how can we define it to separate or isolate the components of crude oil okay to separate the components of the crude oil to divide to uh, you know isolate okay the components of crude oil is known as for it is refinery refining and the process is known as refinery okay that means refining is the process refining and where it is done in the refineries Are you clear? Now, come to the question number nineteen. So, what is like? I'll write here nineteen. Why do we group fossil fuels under exhaustible natural resources? Again, the question. I'll repeat. Why do we group fossil fuels under exhaustible natural resources? see the question was the meaning of question you know like why the fossil fuels are known as uh, exhaustible natural resources in a very simple way what is the thing you know like the, the the questions are same but the way of asking changes every time the language is say how do we why do we group fossil fuels under exhaustible natural resources what does the question mean the meaning of the question if you understand then the question is very very easy okay the meaning of the question again as i said why fossil fuels are known as exhaustible natural resources if i ask in this way that why fossil fuels are known as exhaustible resources it will be quite easier for you to discuss and to answer so uh, the language is changed and so i wish to discuss this answer so children why these are known as exhaustible resources now it should be very clear in your mind because we have limited stock okay and we cannot make it okay why because we have limited stock of fossil fuels okay this is the first point and so it is known as what it is known as exhaustible okay then it will get over within few years okay if used in the same phase if used with the same speed 
okay then we cannot make it okay that is the reason it is not renewable we cannot make it in laboratories we cannot make it is quite sufficient okay so we cannot make it so the question was why it is why the fossil fuels are known as exhaustible resources so why should it is known as exhaustible resources because the stock is limited we have only very limited amount which will be used within 20 to 30 years and then there will be no source of getting these sources back why because we cannot make it and why we cannot make it because the process takes millions of years it is a very slow process and so these resources are known as what kind of resources exhaustible resources okay now come to the question number 20 describe in brief the formation of coal in the earth okay I'll repeat the question describe in brief the formation of coal in the earth as we have discussed the thing in the different form of question we we'll just make the flow chart of this so that you can remember the thing okay the framing of the questions are different but the inside material has to be written in the like one or two lines will be changed but it has to be written the, in the same way describe in brief the formation of coal in the earth so just clean it so we'll just move towards the question number 20 describe in brief the formation of coal in the earth okay describe in brief the formation of coal in the earth so what happens we have written this thing coal formation in a different way so just will the will write the gist like millions of years ago okay plants got buried plants got buried okay and carbonization process took place and what happened carbonization carbonization due to carbonization wood got converted to so what is the answer to like question 20 how the coal was formed so how it was formed we have discussed many a times so I just don't feel like explaining now okay so this one is over now I'll just move to the question number 21 question number 21 state two important uses of CNG okay right or state two uses of CNG now CNG is a come see always revise the things which we have discussed before also in one line what is CNG it is compressed natural gas what is present in CNG like more of methane is present how it is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water okay now if you are thorough with this thing now we can proceed to the question itself state two important uses of CNG so what are the uses of CNG see first like very common and we all know that how and where it is used it is used in vehicles okay CNG is used in vehicles and second point it is also used as a source of hydrogen okay it is also used as okay use as a source of hydrogen in fertilizers okay so what are the uh, different uses it is used as a fuel vehicles means what you all can understand as a fuel and as a fuel so CNG is a compressed natural gas which is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water and it is used as a fuel in the vehicles 
and it is also used as a source of hydrogen in the in fertilizers in making of fertilizers ok. Now, we will move to the answer number 22 ok. So, why is petroleum called black gold ok? Why the petroleum is known as black gold? So, see petroleum again revise the things petro petroleum it is made up of two words petra and oleum. Petra means rocks, oleum is oil, the oil which is trapped between the rocks. Now, why it is known as black gold? First of all, it the economy of the country, ok, economy of the country depends upon the petroleum. Yes, now because many important uh, fractions, ok, many important components like the, the composition is very, very important because the things which comes out is used in manufacture of various things, ok. Like many fuels we get from the petroleum. So, that is the reason it is known as the what black gold. So, how can we write first of all petroleum? can be made by two words ok, which one Petra means what rocks and oleum means what oil ok, means which kind of uh, oil it is. So, rock oil ok or the oil which is entrapped between the rocks. Now, why it is known as black gold? Because economy of the country depends upon it, ok. Fuels like petrol, diesel is obtained from it ok, is obtained from it ok. Now, many other products are made from the components of petroleum from the components of the petroleum. Understood? So, petroleum, petra and rocks Petra rock, oleum oil, rock oil, economy of the country ok. Just imagine if petrol is not there, just imagine if the diesel is not there for few days, few days what just imagine for one or two days, if one day if you do not have petrol with you, the life disturbs like anything, uh, it gets disturbed why because the whole, <coughs> it gets disturbed because the transport the whole the transport system depends upon what these fuels. So, obviously, when these fuels are not available, the whole transport system will be stopped and it is going to impact our economy very badly. You know, just uh, remember uh, even for the one day, a day or two, if the truck drivers okay, or the transport people they go for the strike. So, you know. In within one or two days, the country suffers a big loss. Why? Because the transport system is it, it is like it is import and export. Just forget about the import and export. The transportation of the uh, material from one place to another is so important. Okay, it affects the thing totally, and so we say that its economy of the country depends upon it. Now. Fuels like petrol and diesel is obtained from petroleum and so it is known as black gold ok. If 
and many other products are from like paraffin wax is there, nepta is there and from this uh, paraffin wax, vaseline, petroleum jelly all these things are made. So, many substances are formed and from this many other substances are being made ok and that is the reason why it is known as black gold ok. Now, come to the question number 23, we will write about here answer 23. So, come to the question number 23rd, what measures are given by Petroleum Conservation Research Association to save petrol and diesel while driving? That means, to uh, say the answer in the brief is PCRA, PCRA the measures, the steps, ok, the suggestions which are given by PCRA are what? So, we have discussed this answer before only in discussing the other answer. So, what are the uh, things which were suggested, which are the suggestions which were given? So, the vehicles should be used wisely, ok. Vehicles should be in good condition that means it should be given for the servicing ok. Maintenance should be there then speed should be between 40 to 50 kilometer per hour ok, it should not be more than this because again it use more amount of fuel ok. Then traffic signals at traffic signals engines should be turned off. Okay. So, these were the things which was given by the PCRA means what the uh, vehicle should be used wisely, should not be used unnecessarily ok. Then good quality of fuel should be used ok, good quality of fuel should be used. ok. So, again the average increase. So, quality of fuel should be good, engine should be turned off uh, on the signals ok. Then the speed should not be more than 40 to 50 because it if you maintain the vehicle at this speed it gives a better average the fuel can be safe from this ok. So, these were the suggestions which are given from the association ok. Now, come to the question number 24th. 